guys, this is Jackson the Reptile Guy, and um, today we are going to be doing the resetting up of Charles's cage and how I think a good idea to set up a leopard gecko cage is. So let's get okay, ready. So starting with his warm side, I have this dragon head, which I'm just going to put right over here, so he can go in, go out, and then I'm going to take his log and put that right there. So it'll look like that so far. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's go on to Next, the which is a new addition to Charles's hides, is his humid hide. Um, this is a, just a little cave, half and half. I got some uh, terraria moss, and uh, I wetted it, and then put it in the bottom. And that goes like that. And the reason you want a humid hide is because they're going to need that when they're shedding. And just to get some extra humidity, which they probably will need. Even though they are a desert animal, they still like a little humidity every now and then. So if you do have one, just mist it in there. Keep the uh, moss damp and it'll work really well for your As you can gecko. see, next I put some fake plants and this little piece of driftwood, both are new. So this hide, that, and that are new because I was getting kind of bored and I think Charles was too. So um, this would be his cool side hide, warm side hide. He has some plants to climb in, which he usually really likes plants. And then um, we have the driftwood that he can climb on and maybe get in that hide a little bit with. And then his water will go right next to that hide. So, um. Another important thing is that you you don't want your leopard gecko to get bored, just like you get bored with the same thing every day. So I, I would recommend every couple times a year, um, just changing everything around, maybe getting him some new stuff. So uh, yeah. Next we're gonna just add the final things to the cage, like the water bowl, and then we're gonna end that there. All right, so I've just added Charles' water bowl. I still need to fill it up, but uh. So, it, I would recommend it being right next to the humid hide, so everything over there is the cool side. He's got his little fun branches and his uh, new leaves, his warm side hide, another warm side hide that's kind of in the middle. And now, he's all set up. And that's how I recommend, uh, with uh, the setup, you don't need to do exactly what I did, but I would recommend human hide, of course a water dish, of course things for them to climb on, and of course the worm side hide. And uh, I use uh, for bedding just a reptile carpet, they can't swallow and they eat crickets, they can't get impaction from sand, because I have had that, I have had a leopard gecko get sick on sand, and you really don't want that. So just, I would recommend a uh, reptile carpet, and um, yeah, thanks for watching, bye.